Barack Obama has drawn on many influences throughout his life, including evoking a confidence or swagger to dismiss the attacks he faced rather than overreacting to them, like a beloved moment on the campaign trail when he said he brushed off political attacks like brushing dirt off his shoulder. When you're running for the presidency, uh, then you've got to expect it. Uh, and, you know, you've just got to kind of let it... You know. You know. Many people love that energy. Some knew it was a reference to Jay-Z, a rapper Obama liked long before he was president. Hip-hop is not just a mirror of what is. It should also be a reflection of what can be. Do you like hip-hop? Of course. Who do you like? You know, I got to admit, uh, lately I've been listening to a lot of Jay-Z. I mean, okay. the, this, this new American Gangster uh, album is, is... What do you like about it? Yeah, you know, it, it, uh, it tells a story. And we're all telling stories. Now then, as president, Obama didn't stop. He invoked Jay-Z's really inspirational civil rights vision in a speech at the historic... Edmund Pettus Bridge. We honor those who walked so we could run. We must run so our children soar. Jay-Z actually first rapped those lines in a song imagining an American black president before there ever was one. Rapping Rosa Parks sat so Martin Luther could walk. Martin Luther walked so Barack Obama could run. That was before he was elected. It's a theme that was also explored by Jay-Z while campaigning at Obama's request in 2008. You guys all go out and vote. Get your parents, get your friends, get your auntie. You're going to be able to vote one day. Right, this young lady right here is a perfect example of why we, why we have to vote. We have to make history happen. So that young lady right there, maybe she could be president one day. You understand? So that young lady can be president. That's what it felt like on the campaign trail. And it's in the news now, because Jay-Z entered the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last night. And Barack Obama cited both of those moments you just saw during his induction speech for one of the former president's favorite rappers. I've turned to Jay-Z's words at different points in my life, whether I was brushing dirt off my shoulder on the campaign trail, or yeah. sampling his lyrics on the Edmund Pettus Bridge on the 50th anniversary of the Selma March to Montgomery. So let me be one of the first to welcome Hope, the kid from Marcy Houses, to HOF as an official Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Obama making it official while Jay-Z spoke about his path from the projects to becoming a billionaire to entering the Hall of Fame and recounting how, how Barack Obama, then running for president, asked for help. It turns out, according to Jay, Obama will tell you sometimes even MJ needs an assist. He called me and he said, you know, it's the fourth quarter, we're down two, and uh, I need you to assist me. Give me the ball. I'm Michael Jordan, and I'll get this done. Now, we didn't know Obama refers to himself as MJ when he calls Jay-Z, but they do ball hard, and Jay understands that energy. Did he not say, we ain't even supposed to be here, ball so hard, since we here, it's only right that we'd be fair. Psycho, I'm liable to go. Michael, take your pick. Jordan, game six. Now, Jay enters the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with esteemed company. This year's inductees included Tina Turner, the Go-Go's, the Foo Fighters, and Carole King, who, you may recall, has joined the beat several times on everything from music and culture to her environmental advocacy on climate change, something she's out front on right now. We have to fight for the forest so that our, I mean, it's already tried, our children, our grandchildren, history, so that people, it will be there for people to stand in and appreciate and take in and be part of. It's called the Hall of Fame for a reason. And it's notable that so many of this year's musical and cultural leaders, it turns out, when you look, have also spent so many years leading on policy, on values, on equal rights and civil rights.